welcome to good and happy news tv in the headlines as coronavirus continues to ravage the world kenyan constable discovers her hidden creative side nyeri school adopts virtual learning a classroom without walls catholic priest in italy finds a creative way to celebrate mass and a British veteran raises an equivalent of 2.6 billion shillings for coronavirus fight. Welcome to Good and Happy News TV. I'm your host, Eddie Kimani. Now, our healthcare workers are on the front lines of battling the coronavirus in various parts of our country. Mombasa, Kwale, Nairobi, Nakuru, Kilifi, Siaya, and other counties, and also spreading around the world. These heroes are putting themselves in the path of this virus in these unprecedented times. Our doctors, nurses, technicians, transporters, pharmacists, security officials, mental health specialists, and everyone who supports patient care are rising to the occasion and caring for our most vulnerable populations. So this week I reached out to some friends and requested them to each share a special video message to all our frontline soldiers. Celebrate them, appreciate them, and let them know that we are praying for them as a nation and as a globe, and they are top of our minds as they do this selfless duty. I'd like to take this opportunity to appreciate people who've been on the front line and in the fight to solve this coronavirus issue that has come out and has affected everybody in the whole world. Uh, specifically to mention the people in the security sector, the policemen, the, even the watchmen who are there to take care of our property when we are at home, like to appreciate the nurses, the doctors, even the people who are cleaning those hospitals and people who uh, ensure that the environment is as clean as possible. I'd like to also appreciate people who are in the hospital sector, probably receptionists, probably even pharmacists and people conducting surgery. Um, special mention also to people who are in the supermarkets because our supermarkets are still open uh, during this pandemic and uh, they are there to serve us and they are there to give us whatever we need to pick at the supermarket. We want you to know that we appreciate you and that we are praying for you. That even when your strength wanes, the Lord will be your strength. When you feel low, the Lord will lift you up. Thank you for your selfless, dedicated, and sacrificial service to mankind. Mlembe Mwesi, Mwalabalamu, Mere Nangwa Sare Ndeti, Ndenyo Kubola, Oryo Mno, Kubandu Bosi Bakolam Sibitali, Kubandu Bosi Bakolam Security, Mulinda and Gabalwade, Nakonya Vore, Oriumno, Yasaya Balinde, Abes Yamani, Kokola Kum Holanga, Namtirire, Muriumno. All the people who are testing us, all the people who are looking after us, the nurses, the doctors, the cleaners, anybody who's out there literally risking their lives so that we can get over this pandemic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I just want to say a word of blessing for you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. God bless. Number of lives saved from this deadly virus is good news. For this, I thank the dedicated frontline carers, the medical professionals, and all the support staff behind them. To these wonderful, caring members of the health community, I say Asante Sana. The effort that each of you make in nursing those sick with this virus is recognized and appreciated. Please take care and stay well. Your community needs you. God bless you all. Thank you to all 
the front liners these are the medics nurses doctors and anyone who is volunteering in fighting this coronavirus we would like to let you know that we celebrate you and we thank you and that we will keep you in our prayers and you have our full support we need to uh, give a heartfelt uh, appreciation to the para, uh, to the medics the doctors and nurses and we must uh, congratulate them for this far they have actually done a great job in saving many of the Kenyan lives uh, who are at stake uh, following the, the, the coronavirus. They've been affected by the coronavirus and we are, uh, 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 we are supporting them. Please just know we are sitting at home and doing everything that the government is telling us to do. Uh, but we are definitely with you in um, in our hearts, praying for you and your families because you put your lives at stake. Uh, just know you have uh, people who are praying for you. And obviously we are praying for the country to overcome this uh, pandemic. And God willing, um, things shall go back to where we, need, we we came from. Thank you very much and stay blessed, stay safe. I know for most of us, since this corona was announced in Kenya, we've been scared, we've been praying that the Lord will save us. Uh, my heart goes out to the medics, the police guys, the government officials that have to walk in and out of hospitals to make sure that everything is running for Kenya to be safe. And I know most of them have different needs, they go through different mo emotions. For the medics, when they see people struggling for their lives, and some of them even losing their lives. It's just enough for them to get so emotional and discouraged. I know they also have personal lives that um, we sometimes don't think about. They have children, they have family, and uh, the police force who have sometimes to uh, restrain themselves from hitting or beating grown-ups who are breaking the, the laws, but they are doing all this so that we may be safe. I want to say that we appreciate your work, we love you, we are praying for you to be safe and that God will give you grace to be able to execute your mandate as professionals and to give you grace to endure what you are going through. Uh, you are in a position where we are not, where you are more vulnerable than most of us who are staying at home, but know that somebody is praying for you, somebody, is a, a, somebody appreciates you. And I pray that the God who sees in secret will reward you openly. And as we overcome this corona, that God will remember you in your private needs. Uh, we thank you and we continue to stand with you and we say kudos for the great work you're doing. We appreciate you and love you. Thank you to the doctors and nurses and everybody for the great job they do. May God bless you. Now, this will be a continuing feature on this show. And I request you to send in your video messages to these everyday heroes. Just record a video, not more than a minute, of yourself on your phone and share it with us on our Facebook page, Good and Happy News TV. Let's celebrate these heroes in the best way possible. Still in the spirit of celebrating our heroes, Constable Caroline McKenna of Tort Police Station, Maraquet East, sub-county in Elgeo, Maraquet, has gone beyond her call of duty and is now joining many other selfless champions in the fight against the coronavirus. The officer is the only female at the station and has dedicated her time in making face masks for her community and her fellow officers, including border border riders and those reporting to the station, also getting the masks. And guess what? She is distributing them free of charge. And as cases of COVID-19 rise to the day, by the day, the government has urged Kenyans to stay at home, washing hands and keeping the recommended social distance. As the coronavirus pandemic continues to keep thousands of learners away from learning institutions, teachers countrywide have embraced technology to ensure their students and pupils continue with their studies. At Stella Marie's Othaya Girls Secondary School in Nyeri, the administration has developed an application dubbed Classes Without Walls, which is ensuring over 200 Form 4 candidates continue with learning in virtual classes. 
Schools have developed online applications which are ensuring students, especially candidates set to sit for this year's KCSE, continue with their studies using their parents' smartphones and laptops. And amid the ongoing COVID-19 outbreak in Italy, Pope Francis last week praised the creativity of priests who, despite the suspension of masses and the heavy restrictions on movement, are finding unique and effective ways to be with their people. Father Giuseppe Corbari, pastor of the Saints Curitio in Milan, which is at the epicenter of the outbreak, could easily fall into this category. Speaking to Crooks, a Catholic church website, the priests say that shortly after masses were suspended, the need arose to at least see the faces of the people in his parish because celebrating mass looking at the empty pews was sad. And still keeping it in Italy, churches may have been empty on Easter Sunday, but one voice, that of, of opera singer Andrea Bocelli, brought millions together worldwide from inside Italy's famed Duomo Cathedral in Milan, Italy. The starring Easter concert called Music for Hope was filmed live, bringing together millions of people everywhere in the world. Through this moment, we will hug this wounded heart, pulsing heart, said Bocelli. And he was right. Tens of millions around the world tuned in on last week's Sunday, united together by the power of music and hope. An English World War II veteran who has been walking laps around this garden has raised an equivalent of over 2.6 billion shillings for the UK National Health Service, the NHS, in just one week. 99-year-old Tom Moore says the NHS has been marvelous in helping him recover from a hip replacement and skin cancer on his head over the last couple of years. As a way of saying thank you, the former civil engineer has been doing daily laps of his 25 meter long garden with the aim of walking 100 lengths by his 100th birthday, which is set for April 30th. When he started his journey, his target was to raise an equivalent of 130,000 shillings only for the NHS. Captain Tom! Thanks, Captain Tom! Thanks, Captain Tom! Now let's look at some art now where during the current coronavirus pandemic many people still ignore the basic rules of quarantine and personal security. Some artists have decided to use famous paintings and brought them to life. These are classic art pieces being used to get a new look and teach how to stop the spread of COVID-19 and stay safe. So let's follow this message and stop the spread of the virus. Stay home, stay healthy. Just in case you have an idle treadmill around you, this could be your solution that brings you the closest that you can be to that experience of traveling. Now, this family seems to be making use of their treadmill and seems to be just doing the trick. Now, from time to time, it's always a good thing to keep our feet on the ground. But for these babies, it seems the only thing that stops them from doing that is grass. As they grow, I'm sure they will put their feet to the ground. But for now, it's a no-no. How cute is this? Let's have a look. Nizzy, you don't like the grass in Utah? Mm. Not a fan? Mm. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Now, as this pandemic continues to spread around the world, but so do gestures of kindness and unity. In this time of crisis, people are stepping up more than ever to show their neighbors that they care. One utility worker in Florida, United States, knew the perfect way to lift quarantined seniors' spirits. 
with his heavenly voice. Should I feel discouraged? And why? Why should the shadows come? Oh, why? Why should my heart feel lonely? So, as we wind up, please remember, let's follow the instructions from the government and the authorities and fight this virus. Stay at home, wash your hands, and keep social distancing. These are the key three principles we should be following. I also continue to urge you to remember that our well-being and mental health during this pandemic is crucial. Let's take care of our mental health the same way you're taking care of your physical health. Now, this self-isolation, I, I am taking it that it's going to take a toll on us and will have an impact on us, especially the longer it goes on. Now, here are some few coping tips. Set a limit on social media. Stay active. Connect with loved ones who may be experiencing stress during this very difficult time that we are all going through. Set up body groups, get together online, virtually, and just check up on one another. Be kind to yourself. If you don't feel up to doing anything, believe me, that's fine too. It's important to be kind to yourself and recognize when you need to take a break from everything. And if it all gets overwhelming and gets some need for help, Kenya Red Cross is one of the many organizations that's focusing on helping with the mental health side of things during this pandemic here in Kenya. They are offering free counseling. Just call them on 1199, that is 1199 for any necessary referral and psychosocial support. And that's it for this edition of Good and Happy News TV. We want to hear from you as we share these uplifting, positive stories from around the world. Let's keep doing this, keep watching, keep sharing these episodes, and put a smile on someone's face. You never know, you might just brighten up their day. If you have some good news to share, please like the Good and Happy News TV page on Facebook and share with us. Goodbye.